Hello everyone, Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Coming to bring you some live crafting again today. It's been an exciting couple of days and um, I think I've come down to earth. I've been so hectic lately. I've had on stage last weekend and I also had my daughter's um, Year 12 formal last night so um, you may have seen some photos on if you're friends with me on my private profile um, I will post some pictures up on uh, my business page so you can have a look she absolutely looked gorgeous so I'm just um, checking things out here I can't see comments for some reason at the moment oh my god it's not gonna work here um so please feel free when you jump on say hello let me know where you're watching from um i'm happy to chat and have a good time crafting with you so i'm going to try a little thing that i did just recently i'm going to try it again today and see how i go because i'm i'm making some of my customer thank you cards so for everybody that places orders with me throughout the month and i'm a little bit behind i'm actually two months behind so i need to get in and make lots and lots of customer thank you cards at the moment so i'm um i'm going to kill bird two two birds with one stone i'm actually going to do it while i'm here today so sorry i'm just trying to get my devices all working here so i can um see comments and things as I'm going along. Ah, oh, trying to find everything on here. So, what have you all been? Hey Karen, how are you going? Hey Vicky, thanks for jumping on. Um, what have you all been up to lately? Everybody been crafting? I know that there's been lots and lots of videos of all of us that have been to on stage because we're all excited to share all of the beautiful gifts that we got and the lovely swaps that we got. So if you didn't catch my live the other day showing all my swaps, you need to go back um, after this live video and check that out because there were some awesome um, swaps that I got and so, so many talented people. So if you're new and this is the first time you've watched on stage is a convention that's stamping up the company that I work for that they hold twice a year. So um, on stage was held last weekend in all different places. The big on stage event, the on stage live event was held in Orlando. Would have been fantastic to go and see. Um, on stage is the bomb, Kathleen. Exactly. Um, so hey Deborah, how are you going? Thanks for joining. So um, I actually want to take this time um, just to say. If I don't respond to you saying hello or a comment that you've said, I by no means am trying to ignore you. Um, I've just had um, some people that have been upset that I haven't acknowledged them when they've jumped on and they think that I'm ignoring them. Honestly, if you have ever done a live video, you will understand comments fly by and a lot of the time you can totally miss and not even know that someone was on watching you. So I just want to apologize if I have ever offended anybody by not saying hello or not responding to a comment. I do apologize but it is not on purpose. So I just wanted to make that clear with everybody that I do not ignore people. I try to involve as many people as I possibly can on my live videos. So if I don't respond and I don't comment, I obviously probably haven't even seen your comments. So I just wanted to make that clear with everybody because it is never ever my intention to ignore people on purpose. I That is so not me and I would never do that to anybody. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, okay, so what I'm I'm gonna do I'm still trying to find it here on my computer so I can share into my groups um, hey Monica how are you going thanks for joining hey Jan how are you going so um, what I want to do is um, today I want to try and make 10 cards and I want someone someone that's interested to set a timer I'll tell you when to start the timer but to set a timer so that we can see how long it takes me to make these 10 cards. I have done a lot of things ahead of time, um, and so I've cheated a little bit, but um, I just want someone to actually time and see how long it takes me, because I wanna show you that to be able to create 10 cards, if you're gonna create one, if you're gonna make the mess and create one card, you may as well create 10. So, um, 
that is my sentiments exactly. So as far as I'm concerned, if I'm going to make a mess, why not make a mess making 10 cards instead of just one? So I'm going to have a go at it and we're going to see how I go and see... Um, Sorry, I'm just going to share into a few more groups here and then I'll get into crafting. Hey, Debbie, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Um, so um, I'm going to see how long it takes me to make these 10 cards. And the beauty of it is when I'm finished, I will have 10 cards already made, ready to go for my... Um, for my customers so what I do is if you place an order through my online store I create a handmade card and I give you a little gift hey Matthew thanks for jumping on I give you a little gift for um, purchasing through my online store and as I said if you have purchased it for the last two months I am running really really behind but I am getting them out and I am getting organized to get it all happening so um, you might be one of the lucky people that get one of these beautiful cards in the post for a thank you for purchasing through my online store. So if you're new to watching and this is the first time you've watched, hey Chrissy, how you going? Hope you're feeling all right. Um, so if you're new to my, my live videos, I work for a company called Stamping Up. Now Stamping Up is... Um, a crafting company we sell everything we sell inks we sell stamp sets we sell framelits that you can cut out the stamp sets um, I sell absolutely everything you need for your crafting be it card making be it scrapbooking um, I sell absolutely everything you would ever need and I can tell you our stamping up products are absolutely awesome so if you wanted to place an order with me I would love for you to do that I've popped my website up in the top in the information in the comments sorry not in the comments in in the information section up the top near the heading so you can jump on over to my website which is www.stampingwithdonnag.com and um, you can access my online store there all right so let's get to crafting because honestly isn't that what we want to do is craft hey Carol how are you going thanks for joining okay so I'm gonna flip you forward I'm gonna turn the lights on and then flip the camera down so I've got to flip the camera just bear with me it is new this I've got to flip the camera oh go away with them give me the flip the camera oh, there okay I've got to flip it that way and I think I've got to flip it that way so everybody let me know whether you can see what's going on on my desk and whether everything is the right way up so I'm just gonna wait and see how we're going there there we are okay I need to be that okay so um, let me know if it's the right way up and if the writing is all the right way around writing is the wrong way around sorry I'm gonna have to do that again okay that Writing is the right way around. Yay. Hey, Leone, how you going? Thanks for jumping on and joining. Writing is backwards. Now it should be right, Carol. I've just flipped it around. I was just looking on my screen. So hopefully, wait for the delay. It shall flip around and go the right way. So that is looking pretty awesome. Okay. Do you know what? I actually want to turn the camera the opposite way. Bear with me, people, because my camera is so much better the other way and I've got to try and work out with this arc on stand how to do that so I'm, I'm just going to take my phone out of the holder sorry hopefully I don't lose you all with this I'm going to get out of that and flip the camera around the other way and I'm going to pop it in that way and it's upside down so bear with me okay that way I do want it to go that way Okay, so hopefully I can put it back in the holder and I don't lose you all. Now, isn't that much clearer? Let me know. I think that is, <laughs> Leonie, you're in on stage withdrawals. Leonie, I'll tell you, I'll let you in on something. Guess what I just did? Yeah, it is heaps better, isn't it? It's the other camera. I don't know. Selfie mode on my phone is not nice. So I need to have to work out how to work that but anyway um Leonie I just booked for um Auckland this morning I just booked my accommodation I'm going to Auckland in April I decided actually my husband decided when we got home so um okay so 
I'm going to use the Falling for Leaves. Now, um, if you're new and um, you don't realize, I do a monthly stamp club, and this is actually the stamp set that I have chosen for my monthly stamp club because you can do so many things with this stamp set. Um, so my monthly stamp club and how it works is you pay $45 for a gold membership, you get the stamp set, you get a card kit to make six cards and you get a video tutorial in a private Facebook group or I can email you the video tutorial. Um, and you can also do the optional upgrade of, um, purchasing the framelits to go with it. So any of my on any of my stamp clubs, um, you will book your accommodation, Leonie, too. Yeah, and um, I've got Julianne, one of my team members. I think she's going to speak to her husband and ask as well. I know, Deborah. that was what my husband said. We have a passport. Why not use it? So we decided that we would book for Auckland as well. So I can tell you, it's going to be two overseas trips in one year. I know. But you know what? Like I said to Daryl, we're only going to go for five days. And it's my 50th birthday on the 17th of April. So I decided that I would go to on stage and I will be back home again by the 14th of April. Um, we fly back home on the 14th and I just thought, why not? It's my 50th birthday. Why not? All right. So what I'm going to do is I've chosen some beautiful colors. I'm going to use the Stamparatus um, for making these 10 cards to make life a little bit easier. So I've already made a template for my Stamparatus with um, this beautiful flower from the fall, sorry, or leaf from the falling leaves. And I've already worked out where to pop that. I have cut all of my pieces. So this is a beautiful stamp set. I know we don't, um, we don't celebrate fall here in Australia, but I still think it's a beautiful stamp set. So um, the reason why I decided to go with it, you can do so many things with it. So even the three cards that I designed for the monthly stamp club, oh my Lord, they are absolutely gorgeous. So, so I've chosen a really, really lovely color combination, which is probably one of my favorites. I've chosen our um, Melon Mambo, our Bermuda Bay, and I've also chosen the beautiful um, the beautiful Rose Glimmer Paper. Thank you, Nicole. I, I do still have these lovely nails, and I will have these lovely nails for about four weeks until the next time I go and get my nails done. So the reason why I've got black and white nails, everybody, is because the theme for Centre Stage on the weekend was black and white, so we had to dress in black and white, so I got my fingernails done in black and white as well. So... Okay, so what I've got is I've got Melon Mumbo bases. I've got um, I've got some Bermuda Bay layers. I've also got some layers here, but I'm I'm actually I'm going to pop them aside because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've embossed one of the layers for the cards. So what I like to do is have everything pre-cut and ready to go. So I have 10 of everything. I have 10 of the bases. I have 10 of the um, strips for the sentiment, 10 of the circles, 10 of the layers. Um, I also have um, this layer here, but I've got nine of them that I've already embossed because I didn't want you to sit and wait while I was doing the whole nine. And I've got some ribbon. This is retired ribbon, but I just thought I may as well use it up in my thank you cards. So... First of all, what I'm going to do is do the main thing. I'm going to fold the bases. So bear with me. I know sometimes when you see 10 cards getting made that you probably think, oh my Lord, this is going to take forever. But I wanted to show you how quick and how easy it is. And what I tend to do is I do one step for the whole 10 cards first. So um, I'm going to fold my 10 bases in half and use my bone folder to crease them. Some people don't use the bone folder. I like the bone folder for the simple fact that it creases them nicely and it makes your card, it doesn't sort of um, bounce open. It stays shut really, really nice. So that's the reason why I do that. Uh, you, you're grateful that I've taught you this, Deborah? Yeah, for quick multi-card making. Exactly. Because, as I said, if you've got to get the stamp set out for one, why not get it out for ten? You know, why not get the ink pads out for ten cards instead of one? It just depends on whether you like to make one-of-a-kind cards. But for thank you cards, I like to have a theme going for, um, for one of, like, for one month and change the theme for the next month. 
you're churning out Christmas cards in no time at all. Exactly. So, oh, did anyone set a timer? Sorry, I forgot. Can someone set a timer? Someone let me know how long I'm going to go. I've been going for a couple of minutes now, so I, I don't know, maybe add two or three minutes on for all the chatting and things that I did. So, ten card bases already folded and done. Okay, so the next thing what I want to do is I want to emboss my white layer. So I'm just going to bring in my Big Shot. Okay. Now I'm using the Swirls and Curls embossing folder because I absolutely love it. And one of the hints that I do here um, is I actually emboss more than one layer at a time. I put two layers in my embossing folder at once and emboss the two together. So if I had 10 cards, I would only have to roll this through the embossing machine five times. Okay, and there you get your beautiful embossed piece. So I've already done the other nine just to save time. So that's another hint. Make sure that you um, run them through. Um, run them through um, two at a time. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll pop those aside. I'm then going to bring in my Stamparatus. Okay. And I've already mounted my stamp. So I've made a template. So I've cut out the template of my flower. And I'm just going to pop them in there. And with my Bermuda Bay... Your Christmas cards are taking forever, Matthew. So I'm just going to ink up my Bermuda Bay and I'm going to stamp my flower. So that's one. Okay, and another hint. I'm going to use my pokey tool with my wax end to pick up. Did you see that, everyone? Did you see me pick that up out of the template? Okay, so I'm going to ink up my flower again. And stamp down so because this is a photopolymer stamp I'm actually um, I'm actually using my foam pad underneath and you'll notice my hinge is right away from where I'm going to stamp so you always tend to try and put your stamp down over here so you can get the most pressure you can from your stamp um, away from the hinges. If you've got your stamp very close to the hinge, you will find that um, you'll have a hard time stamping very, very close to where that, um, where that hinge is. It is a clever idea for the pokey tool, very clever. And it saves you because sometimes when you've got a template like this and you're trying to um, trying to pick it out, you end up moving your template and it makes it really, really hard. Oh, hey, Angie, how are you going? Thanks for chomp, jumping on. Okay, so we've got a few more to go. Now... This and my sentiment is the most stamping that I'll be doing. So really once I get this done, I'm really then only going to assemble the cards. So did anyone set a timer for me? Hey Jenny, how are you going? Hey Nikki, all the way from the US. Thank you very much for joining me. Hi Anne, how are you going? Anne, are you new to watching my channel? I don't know whether I've seen your name before pop up. Whereabouts are you from, Anne? Okay, that one decided to stay there. A few more to go. Just be careful when you're doing this too that you don't... I did get a bit of ink on my fingers, so just be careful that you don't get ink on you and then um, get it on your project. Linda is there too. Oh, Angie, that's right. Linda was coming over. Hello, Linda. Oh, that's okay, um, Nikki. Did you not go to on stage, Nikki? Um, yeah, I had a lovely time. I really wanted to give my um, team members that missed out on going to on stage. I wanted to give them the experience of being at on stage, and it was awesome this year because we didn't have any spoiler alerts, so we were allowed to. Oh, you're from Queensland. You've watched a few times. Well, thank you very much for joining me all the way from Queensland. I was up in Queensland on the weekend in Brisbane. Um, 
So, um, hey Cheryl Lee, how are you? Cheryl Lee's from Canada. Thank you for joining. Hey Betty, how are you going? Now Betty, are you new to my channel? I don't know whether I've seen your name before. So thank you very much. Where are you from, Betty? Oh, you didn't get to go this year? Never mind. That one's a little bit crooked, but it's okay. I must have mishit with where I was putting the... Oh, that's what's happened. My template moved. Okay, last one, if I can pick it up off the... Oh, pick it up off the counter. Ah, oh, pokey tool. Yeah, got it. Okay, so pop it in. So that's the last of stamping all of my leaves. You're from Victoria, Betty. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Okay, so there we have our 10 leaves all stamped, ready to go. So I'm just going to use my chamois now and clean off my stamp. Um, Angie, can you please send a message to Julia that I'm live? Because Julia is actually asking me a question here in Messenger. Can you just um, tell Julia that I'm live? And when she jumps on live, I can answer her question. She's asking where on stage in Auckland is being held. Okay, so we have that done. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do, we have this new grid paper for our... Stamparatus. So what I want to do is I want to take away my template and beware, do not get your magnets anywhere near the other magnets. Okay, so I'm going to turn this plate over and I'm going to hopefully line up my sentiment. Now I'm actually going to work out where I can pop this that it's going to stamp really well. So I'm just going to draw a line with a pencil of where I'm actually going to line it up. So I'm going to line it up on here and here. So this is the beauty of having our grid paper. Actually, it won't matter because my pieces are a little bit um, different in sizing. So then I'm going to lay my stamp. You've enjoyed watching my live shots of on stage too, Cheryl. I'm glad. I'm glad that you got to enjoy it, ladies, because it is simply awesome. I can tell you it's, um, it is such a beautiful experience. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that there that I want that to stamp right there. So I'm then going to pick up my stamp, okay, and flip that back. And that's okay that that came up. I'm now going to pop my magnet on my sentiment piece of cardstock so that it stays in one place. Okay, so I think I'm going to ink this up in Melon Mambo and stamp it down. Let's see how we go. Perfect. So I'm going to do that with my 10 sentiments. So we're going to pop them in. Make sure we've got it lined up, ready to go. Ink it up. So as you can see, the Stamparatus makes multiple card making so much easier. Thanks, Angie. Um, makes it so much easier. You just pop them in, pop them out. So um, very, very easy to be doing lots and lots all at once. And I do agree that the little ink spots are better for using with our Stamparatus so we don't get ink everywhere. But the beauty of the Stamparatus, even though you get ink on your plates, it doesn't seem to want to transfer onto your project, luckily. So, hi Jeannie, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Whereabouts are you watching from, Jeannie? Um... So as you can see, this is um, taking no time at all. Okay, so we've got four done. You're in Maine, Jeannie. 
and it's raining. Well, it's actually, oh, I don't think I stamped that one very well. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. It's actually not, it's funny, it's overcast here. Like, um, it's not, it's not boiling hot or, or cold. It's, it's actually, well, it's actually quite muggy, but, um, yeah, it's a funny old day. The sun's been coming out and going away. Don't think it really knows what it wants to do. Okay, so I've got a few more to go, about three more to go. And that will be all my stamping done. So as you can see, the grid paper is great for... Um, has anyone stamped on their mat? I know I, know I have. Um, the foam mat that we have underneath. I'm like, oh my lord, I've just got ink on my foam mat. Um, so yeah, I think when they bought out these uh, grid paper, the little mini grid paper, I think they're fantastic. They're fantastic for doing lots of things actually because you don't really necessarily need to use them for just your stamparatus because what you could actually use them for would be um, if you were trying to do uh, a bit of stamping off and you needed a little bit of paper for underneath um, and you didn't want to get out your big grid paper, you could use it for that. Um, I don't know how many of these I've done, but I've got another one still sitting here. So I'll do the whole lot because it doesn't matter if I've got too many. That's fine because I'm probably going to make another 10 of these anyway after the video. I just didn't think you needed to sit through 20, that's for sure. Okay. So who's loving all the sneak peeks of all the new products that we've got coming? So if you are not up to date, we have a new occasions catalogue. So when we went to on stage on the weekend, we got to get the new occasions catalogue. Okay, Julia, you're on. Julia, it's at, um, I think they call it the Sky Tower. This is where on stage is on at Auckland, Sky Tower in the city. Um, so I've just stayed at a at a place in the city. It's a, a place called, um, oh, I think I did tell you, I think in Messenger. Um, I just got a, a two-bedroom unit. I know Julia uh, Julianne has had a look and she can get a one-bedroom unit that she thought she might. She was just asking her husband. So she's going to try and book in the same place as me as well. Um, Michelle's saying me, you're loving the new catalogue items. You know where it is? Yeah, okay. It's um, it's called the Sky Tower. I think it's called the Sky Tower where it's going to be on. Okay, so we now have all of those done. I'm just going to pop that Stamparatus out of the way now. And we're just about done. We're just about ready to assemble these beautiful cards. So what I've decided to do is... Um, I'm going to layer my embossed pieces of white onto my Bermuda Bay pieces, okay? So I'm just going to use, and this, you can use it either way. I think I'm actually going to use it the debossed side. The Sky Tower is nice. I haven't been there. Do you know what? Daryl and I have never been overseas, and now we're going to go on two trips in, um, in one year. So believe it or not, we've decided to... Um, Live it up and go for it. Like as as Daryl said, oh, well, you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. We may as well. So um, we jumped online this morning and booked it. So it was fantastic to be able to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that down a little bit until that glue takes hold. Now, some people may like to use um, their snail on this to hold it down or maybe their double-sided tape because it's embossed. And... That would be a lovely idea, but I am the world's worst at lining up when it comes to using um, double-sided tape. So I'm sorry, but I use my liquid glue. That is what I prefer, but each to their own, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like, whatever you prefer to use as your glue of choice, um, yeah, is fine. But as I said... I'm a bit of a shocker when it comes to lining things up, so I tend to like my Tombow because I get to be able to wiggle it around and move it exactly where I want it to go. So I'm using the deboss side of this. As I said, you can use um, the emboss side. 
Oh no, Michelle, really? I know, I, I, was, I was a little bit sad that there was no on stage in April in Australia. So um, I was a little bit sad about that. So I'm hoping that you're not going though when on stage is gonna be in, in no on November. Or we won't get to meet again. Okay. But then if on stage is still, I, I dare say that they will probably have one in Auckland. Yeah, I know. It, it is a shame because, as and as I said to you, Julia, the other day, I was thinking it would be nice to catch up and meet all of my team. Um, but then when they announced that there wasn't going to be one in Australia, I was like, mm, well, there goes that idea out the door. Um, and saying she always uses glue now too, used to be able to line things up better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it's our eyesight as we get older or what, but I tend to like to use my liquid glue. Um, hey, Kathy, how are you going? Thanks for jumping on and joining. Are you going to New Zealand next year, Deborah, for your mum's 80th? Is that what you just said? Your mum's 80th. Does she live in New Zealand, Deborah? Yes, and I agree. It is good to have some wiggle room. So, so true. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Does it... Does it coincide with on stage, Deborah? So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit excited about choosing to um, go to Auckland. So, and it is before my Greece trip, but yeah, why not? I only live once. That's what my husband said. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow, so we may as well book it and just do it. Because I said to him before I went to um, on stage in Brisbane that I thought I wanted to go to the Auckland one, but I said, that's okay, you can stay at home. I'll just go to the Auckland one. I'll just go with some team members and it'll be fine. You don't have to go because I said it's three whole days of being at on stage. You probably, I won't be able to get to see anything anyway. So he decided this morning that we need to go for five days so that I can get to look around for two days. So I said, sounds good to me. So I booked a motel for five days. I booked an apartment, sorry, for five days. Oh, no. So you, yeah, you can't go to um, to um, New Zealand twice in one year. Well, you could. You could go to New Zealand twice in a year. And Michelle, I'm just putting it out there. You could go to New Zealand twice in a year, you know. Because at least you'd be able to meet me if you went to Auckland in April. Michelle's one of my team members. That's why I'm being so smart to her. <laughs> uh, can't afford to go twice. I know. I probably couldn't afford to go the first time, but I'm going. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I've got those all on. I'm going to now, with my liquid glue, line them up on my card bases now always ladies double check that you have your card bases opening the right way when you go to do these multiples because there is nothing worse it's okay at this stage but there's nothing worse than getting them all to this stage and then you find out that you've put one on back to front so always double check that the fold is the right way and that you're popping it on the front not on the back Yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing in Auckland. Um, as I said, I get to have two days where I can travel around. So um, where were you, Angie? Were you crafting, doing your card class with Linda? That's okay. I'll be here for a while. Hey, Audrey. Lovely meeting you on the weekend, Audrey. It was awesome to put a face to the name. We have known each other for so long on Facebook but have never met in person. So it was lovely to meet you and Carol on the weekend. Absolutely awesome. It was a great weekend. And the giveaways that Stamping Up gave us was amazing. Hello, Linda. I can see Linda's popped on there now with Angie. So just a few more to go. 
So as you can see, I do this step by step. Now, if you're new to card making, you can do this too. As I show you, I show you everything step by step, exactly how to do things. So um, there is no reason that if you're a beginner that you can't make a card like this. Um, it's for all, all levels of crafters. It's, it just depends what elements that you put on your card and how much work you put into the card um, is, is what look you get. But as you can see, these are coming together quite quick. Yeah, they, they were very generous, weren't they, Julia? I think it was a 30-year ce celebration for stamping up on the weekend. So um, it was a pretty big on stage. Would have been lovely to go to Orlando. I, But, you know, there's years to come. I'm sure we're going to get to go and do things. I think because stamping up originally comes from America, and I think it would be really, really nice to be able to one day get to go to an on stage in America would be fantastic because it was massive all those people you're going to New Zealand in April Audrey woohoo as I said I just booked my accommodation this morning so I'm pretty keen I'm not going to book flights or anything until I know well until I know I've got a ticket but I mean I'm silver elite so I'm going to get a ticket because we get to register earlier than everybody else um but yeah I'm still not going to get tickets booked until I until I know that I'm definitely going I thought I may as well just get in book the accommodation because I always cancel the accommodation if I don't get to go um yeah I know Julia I did notice that they're all just sitting in rows of seats I know um, it changed though, like when they were crafting and stuff, they were sitting at tables and things. Okay, so that's the 10 bases all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these leaves and I'm going to use my glue dots. And the reason that I'm using my glue dots is because I'm going to be popping it onto shimmer paper. Um, or glimmer paper, whatever we, we call it. Um, so I always go for my trusty glue dots so that it sticks really really well to that glittery paper I know our, our shimmer paper is um, different to how it used to be there's a new design and it doesn't shed as much and I think since they've made that new design I don't think it's as um, hard to get things to adhere to them but I still go for my trusty glue dots so I'm just putting probably about four or so glue dots on these. Oh, okay, Deborah. Yeah, I don't know. I just I just feel like um, so many people that I have now met, like worldwide, I would absolutely love. Like they seem to go to the American on stages, so. I would actually, I think I'm probably going to get to meet a lot of them anyway on my Greece trip. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I've, I'm, I'm starting to get the travelling bug and I haven't even travelled yet. So watch out. I could be travelling all the time. Just kidding. Needs money. You need money to travel. I need lots and lots of orders for me to be able to travel as much as I want to. But yeah, the on-stage events in Australia are awesome. I've been to three now. I've been with Stamping Up for two years. I missed the first one because I didn't really even know what it was all about. Um, and I actually said to my husband when I came home and when I said that it was only on in Auckland, I said, but it's on stage. I can't miss on stage. I can't not go to on stage. Like really, I've been to every one so far. How can I not go to on stage? And so straight away he started looking at accommodation. So yeah, there's um there's some pretty talented people over there in America, and I think just because that's where it started. I mean, I have got to meet um, Sarah. I met Sarah last on stage, not this one just gone, but the one before. And I was lucky enough to have Sarah. She sat at my table all night and had dinner with us at Centre Stage. It was awesome. And she's such a lovely person. Uh, I would love to meet Shelley one day. One day soon, maybe. 
Actually, I will. I'll meet Shelley on the Greece trip. I keep forgetting that I'm going to meet all these people on that trip. Hey, Wendy, how are you going? You haven't you haven't missed an on stage? I know. You going to Auckland? Uh, did you hear? I just booked. I just booked accommodation this morning. Made the decision. We bit the bullet and said, let's just do it. And so we are. Okay, so there we have all of our leaves now ready to go. I feel like I'm doing this really quick today. Look at this. I'm nearly done. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to just do a little bit of ribbon. Okay, so I think that's going to be enough. So I'm just going to cut that. And I need to cut 10 of them. So one, two. Hopefully I'll have enough for 10. Three. Isn't this ribbon simply gorgeous? I can't even remember when it was available but I've had this roll sitting there for ages and I thought to myself I'm going to use that up I'm I'm going through my craft room trying to use everything so I am terribly sorry it is retired you can't get it I'm sure it's retired someone might set me straight I'm positive that it's retired you still need to sort out your Auckland trip yeah I haven't I haven't booked flights or anything Wendy I just I just thought one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven. I just thought I will book accommodation and I can cancel anyway, so it hasn't cost me anything. So I thought if it doesn't end up working out, I can just cancel it. I think this is 10. Have I got 10, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Yep, okay. So now what I'm going to do is my double-sided tape on each one I'm going to just stick two little strips of double-sided tape. So I'm just going to go through and do that on all of them. And this is just to hold my ribbon in place underneath So did everyone see the pictures of my beautiful daughter at her formal last night, her year 12 formal, in her lovely red dress? She looked absolutely stunning. Do I need a roomie? Actually, Wendy, my husband and um, I'm thinking maybe both girls. We're trying to convince... Uh, Denny Lee is definitely going, my youngest. She's like, no, nope, I'm going to get my passport and I'm going to book the flights I'm definitely going and then my eldest is a bit she's indecisive of whether she's going to go or not but my husband and my my girls will probably end up going with me <laughs> you love the red dress Wendy well I would assume Wendy you would love the red dress because you're a red girl you love your red um yeah Jade's sort of she's tossing up whether she's going to go or not she's um well, I mean, she's just left year 12. She doesn't know where she's going to be, what she's going to be doing. Um, she looked beautiful, Monica. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. She was gorgeous. What's wrong, Judy? Judy's saying help. What would you like help with, Judy? Let me know. Not help? <laughs> was that, that autocorrect? doing something <laughs> I can help you if you need help Judy just saying okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take off my double-sided tape are oh, you saying hello silly autocorrect on our computers or phones okay so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take off the backing and I'm just going to fold my ribbons in half so fold it in half 
and just um, spread the ends a little bit, just a little bit. So just like that. It's so funny, isn't it? The silly autocorrect. It does what it wants to do. And then, and then half the time you've pressed send or enter before you've realized what it's done. And then you go, oh my Lord, that's not what I wanted to say. The colors are awesome together, Deborah. They're stunning together. It's been an old favorite of mine for many, many years. And I mean, we all know, like Bermuda Bay and Melon Mambo have been around for many, many, a long, long time. But um, yeah, I can tell you it's a lovely color combination. It's just bright and um, cheerful to go back to. Um, and I think the, the beautiful rose glimmer paper with it as well just is a striking additive to have with it as well. So how am I going, ladies? It hasn't even been an hour and I'm nearly finished. Nearly finished. I am cheating, though. I'm not going to do the insides. I'll do the insides after I get off. So who out there hasn't tried doing multiple cards like this all at once? Who hasn't had a go at this? Type in the comments. Let me know whether you've had a go at it or whether you haven't. Type in, yes, I have or no, I haven't. Let me know how many out there do this multiple. I know Deborah does. Deborah said she's been doing her Christmas cards like it. And I'm positive Angie would be doing multiple cards. <laughs> do you know what, Wendy, the make and takes? Julia and I were really, really naughty. Julia and I actually, um, hey Mari, how you going? Julia and I actually didn't do our make and takes. What we did was we stamped them all and cut everything out, but we just didn't. Um, Judy says no, she hasn't because Judy is new to crafting. So Judy is one of my team members. And so Judy, do you think this is probably going to give you the idea you might try it? Monica's saying she hasn't either. Um... Margaret's saying that she's done it with her Christmas cards because this is a great idea to get um, your Christmas cards done. Chrissy, you haven't. I find that amazing because you're such an avid card maker. Um, Christina says, yes, she has. Um, Wendy, you didn't assemble yours. Either. Yes, we were really naughty and I still haven't assembled them. I just stamped everything. But the year that you sat with me, though, Wendy, you, you made yours the year that you sat with me. The very first year that I ever went to on stage, you made yours. I remember you making them. <laughs> You've made 80 Thanksgiving cards, Jeannie. Wow, that is awesome. Michelle says she has. Um, Linda says no, she has, hasn't. Do you think, Linda, this might start you to, um, to think about making multiple cards if you're going to get the mess out for one card do you think maybe you could make 10 cards instead so that you only have one mess and 10 cards at the end of it what do you think Rita says she assembles her make and takes at home as well you have now you've bought the Stamparatus you will have a go Chrissy yes and I can tell you Chrissy the Stamparatus is the deal breaker, I can tell you. Now that you have your Stamparatus, you will find that you will do more of these multiple cards because the Stamparatus makes it possible. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to pop on some dimensionals on the back of my beautiful Glimmer Circles. Now the Glimmer Circles, I've cut out the Glimmer Circles using our... Um, layering circles so in the layering circles we have plain circles and we also have um scalloped circles so the circle that i've done my leaf on and the circle that i have used for the the glimmer paper the circle that i have my leaf on is the largest circle in our layering circles and the scalloped circle is the largest scalloped circle um linda's saying maybe she might give it a go Well, you will soon see, ladies, that I'm going to have 10 gorgeous cards made. And I haven't even been going for an hour. So 
Um, I don't think I will ever make 10 cards in 20 minutes. I don't think I will ever be capable of doing that, even when I've got everything um, all pre-organized and ready to go. But I think my problem is I do tend to... I could probably make 10 cards in 20 minutes if I made very basic cards, but I feel like I do... Um, more steps and stages on my cards, but that's just me. I'm I'm not a, a very basic card maker. But not saying, like, I can tell you, on the weekend, they actually um, introduced a way of um, showing, like, how to recognise what our customers are and whether they're new to crafting and whether they're what they call... Um, um, beginner crafters, then they had um, casual crafters, and then they had avid crafters. And the majority of us all said that we were definitely avid crafters, all the ones that were at, on stage. Like, we all love buying the products. We all craft all the time. Um, but, yeah, I just thought it was great for, for them to show us all the different stages that you can show, like, what a beginner crafter can do. So now I'm just going to place them... And making sure that I've got my fold happening on my card. So always check the fold on your card that it is the right way. You need a Stamparatus as well, Kathy. Is that what you're saying? You need to get a... Yes, Helen. You need to get a Stamparatus. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm telling you that it makes life so much better having a Stamparatus. It makes crafting so much easier. And multiple crafting so, so much easier. And then... Have you ever done your crafting where you've where you've got everything done and it's up to stamping the sentiment and you go to stamp the sentiment on it and you muck up the sentiment and then you can't re-stamp it again and then it like wrecks the whole project? Stamparatus, that's never going to happen because you can have it positioned, then you just re-stamp it again. So, um, hey Tanya, how are you going? Thanks for joining. Hope you're having a good afternoon. Have you come back down to earth from on stage? There's quite a few of us that have been at on stage on the weekend. You had the Stamparatus and you must give it a go, Monica. Yes, you must give it a go, Monica, for sure. Oh, yes. And there is, Wendy's reminding me, we now have a carry bag for our Stamparatus available. As demonstrators, we're able to order it. Um, I think it's beginning December, isn't it? Is it beginning December? I think customers can order the bag to carry your Stamparatus around in, and it's fantastic. It holds all your extra plates and everything. It is absolutely beautiful. And they have a... Um, beautiful carry tote that's going to be part of our celebration joining offer but you can actually as demonstrators we can purchase them now so you know what you want to do if you want to get them you can get them right now if you join my team for $169 $235 worth of product and you can get um, those beautiful Stamparatus carry bags and everything so we're getting close to getting these done. I've only then got to pop my sentiment up. I think I'm going to um, flag the ends of my sentiment, I think, with my triple banner punch, which is right beside me, which it normally is right beside me on my desk because I find it's probably one of the most popular punches that I use. Hey, Pam, how are you going? Pam, I did personal message you about the um, Stamps Club. I hope you got the message. I'm sorry it took me so long to actually get back to you this morning. I, I know you messaged me last night and I couldn't quite tell you the answer to your question, but I did answer your question at about, I don't know, 11 o'clock or something. I think I sent you a message. You're going to definitely, with your Christmas cards, try doing the multiples? Yeah. Because you're sending them to all different people. So it doesn't matter that we make the same card because you're sending them out to all different people. Okay, so there we have that. Now, all I've got to do, I'll clean up my dimensional mess here, backing's mess. Pop that in the bin. Now, all we've got to do is do our cute little sentiment. So... I think, yes, I think I'm going to, can I do that? Okay, so I'm going to use my triple banner punch. Just going to pop it in. And punch them, so I'll do that to all ten.
I'm a bit limited for time today too because I've got to go and pick up my daughter from school again. So I've got to do the school pickup run today. Yeah, so the formal was different last night. I, I only said the amount of money and everything that goes into the preparation of the formal and the girls all getting themselves all dressed up. Um, because it was a school event, um, there was no alcohol allowed at the formal. Well, the majority of the year 12 students are all 18. So, of course, they wanted to drink because it was the end of their schooling um, and so the formal ended really, really early, like by nine o'clock, everybody was leaving because they all wanted to go to the after party so that they could drink their alcohol and do what they wanted. And I, I actually said to my mother and father, I said, if they had have let them drink the alcohol at their formal, it probably would have let them like made them stay at their formal a lot longer. I thought all the preparation and all the money that goes into it. And it was over by 9 p.m., we were all heading out the door at nine o'clock. Everyone had left. They were all going to the party so that they could drink their alcohol. Yet, yeah, mind you, some of the teachers were heading down, drinking a bit of alcohol down at the bar downstairs, hoping that no one seen them. Like so, I and I think in a in a in a mo like in a club, it's more controlled. So I was like, mm, they should have just let them have a few drinks, and if they got out of control, the club removes them. So. Um, It'd be easier to deal with them in a club environment than somewhere else. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop that up on some dimensionals, but I'm just going to pop them on the ends near the banner where I've cut, and then I'm going to slip them in underneath. Hopefully, they're going to slip in underneath all the leaves. So I'm just going to pop two dimensionals on each. And there's something about doing crafting um in multiples like this i don't know what it is like a production line i absolutely love production lines and i love um when they're all lined up and all finished and looking the same i don't know what it is you can see my point but they have duty of care i know i do know kathy like why they do it but i just feel like it was sad that they all left so early they should have been staying at their event and having a lovely time and partying there for a while you know like but anyway it's just how it is maybe i'm just from the old school but <laughs> um and I know, I know that some kids go pretty crazy when it comes to alcohol. I'm just lucky I've got sensible children that don't do that. So, okay, so now I'm just going to take the backings off those. And a little bit of glue just on the end. It's not really going to do much, but um, I'll do that anyway. And then I'm just going to slide that in under there and pop it on there. So like that. Michelle had a production line going with your, yeah, with your grandson's invitations. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so true, Kathy. Once in a lifetime occasion and it just ended so quickly. Yeah. Which was... Um, well, I thought it was sad anyway. I was like, oh, my God, I couldn't believe. But, I mean, a lot of the parents were the worst. Like, as soon as all the formal things went o like were over, all the, all the pres presentation and the dance and the, and the dinner, as soon as that was finished, the par parents were all out the door. We were sort of one of the last lot of people sort of sitting there, and, I mean, my girls were still having a good time, but... poor old Jade's sick again she's had tonsillitis two and a half weeks ago and now she's got like the cold with a bad cough and I'm hoping she doesn't end up with tonsillitis again so just slipping them under and then using the um the dimensionals to stick it down
nearly there. One, two, three, four, five to go. Halfway. Yeah, I know, Kathy. She's had a hard time of it. She really has. I sometimes wonder, is it the um, pressure of exams and things that they get themselves a little bit run down? I don't, I don't know. Like, she's not... Um, um, yeah, she's not normally a sickly child, but... Yeah, it's a really bad cough, Michelle, and she's a, she's actually an asthmatic, so um, when they get, like, flu-type things, it goes straight to her chest. So um, you can probably hear her in the background in my house coughing away at the moment. She's just been lazing about in bed all day today. Although that would happen when you get home at 2.30 a.m. in the morning, but... Thank you for sharing. Okay, so Judy has just shared and I'm just going to take the time now to say that if you share my video on your Facebook profile um, and you live in Australia, you can go into a draw to win my monthly prize and I give away stamp sets. I still have not made my mind up what stamp set it's going to be this month. It could be a celebration stamp set if you're lucky. I'm still waiting on my order. I will do an unboxing order. I should have my order either hopefully tomorrow or the next day. What's today? Wednesday. So it says that it's due Friday, but I feel like it could turn up tomorrow. So I'll do my unboxing because it is all new product. And um, um, yeah, the cough is worse at night. No, it is too, Michelle. Definitely. Okay. So if you're watching this back on... YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel. But as you can see, look at these beautiful 10 cards that we have just made using our lovely Falling for Leaves stamp set. So very, very easy. Thank you, Betty, for sharing. Very, very easy to make multiple. I've now made 10 cards, gorgeous, beautiful cards. Um, and it's only two o'clock, so um, I started at one o'clock. So with all my talking, I'll flip you around now. Let me see if I can work this. Sorry, bear with me while I flip you. I'll um, flip you back so I can see you. Let's see. Can we go this way? Oh, my Lord. I've got things on the camera here that I shouldn't have. I have no idea why I've got that. Get rid of all that and flip. And you're seeing outside. Okay, so there we have it. Now we're back to that stupid selfie mode that um, looks really strange. I don't know what's going on with that camera. I better turn that light off. Could look a little bit better. There you go. How's that? Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed my live crafting today. And I know it's short and sweet today, um, but I do have to go and pick up my children. I will be doing an unboxing or, uh, unboxing video, so it will be just an impromptu video. I, I can't actually tell you. It, it may be tomorrow sometime. It may be um, Friday sometime. But I will be jumping on, doing some unboxing, but I will be crafting with some of the new products because there's some stamp sets that I've got some great ideas that I want to do with them. And um, I don't want you just to see an unboxing video that you don't get to see any crafting. I, I know you want to see the new products in action. So I will be um, crafting with the new products. I've got some ideas, as I said, floating around in my head. So, um, so please, if you're watching this back later on, please still feel free to share. Please type shared in the comments so that I know that you have shared. If you are not a personal friend of mine on Facebook, it doesn't show up that you've shared the video. So please always type shared in the comments so that I know that you've actually shared the video so you don't miss out on being in um, the draw. And there's some wonderful, exciting products coming in our New Occasions catalogue. Now, if you want to get your hands on the New Occasions catalogue, if you want um, a catalogue sent out to you, please jump on over to um, my website. I haven't got the thing up there at the moment, but you can request a catalogue. Please request an Occasions catalogue and a Celebrations catalogue. I will be ordering my catalogues um, on the 5th of December when we're allowed to 
pre-order and I will be sending them out as soon as I get them I will have them ready I will pack them and I'll be sending them back out again so if you wanted an occasions and celebration catalog if you're a customer of mine and you've ordered in the last six months you will definitely get an occasions and celebration catalog I will go through um, my records and send them out to all of my customers my online customers um, but if you would require a catalog or if you think you might Think about um, joining Stamping Up so that you can get your hands on these products earlier because we get to order. I've actually been allowed to order because I went to on stage, so we get what they call a product premiere um, order, and I've been allowed to do that, and that's what's coming tomorrow or the next day. Um, but as demonstrators, we're allowed to order out of the occasions catalogue on the 5th of December. It doesn't go live to the general public until the 3rd of January. So if you wanted to get your hands on these products and you wanted to join my team you can actually add them as of the 5th of December you can add them in your starter kit if you wanted to actually join now you get the chance of doing um, the pre-order starting on the 5th of December so my idea would be join now add some awesome products you can get the Stamper Artist bag you can get um, the, the the carry tote um, please yeah, if you're thinking about ordering, you can um, join for $169 and you get $235 worth of product to choose from. Um, and then you get 20% discount and there's nothing to be scared of, honestly. there's Yes, you have to make the quarterly amounts. They give you the remainder of this quarter and the whole next quarter to make your first quarterly amount. And then from that time on each quarter, you have to make the quarterly amounts. But if you don't make the quarterly amounts, you just lose your 20% discount and go back to being a customer of mine again. So it's as simple as that. So um, no one chases you for money. No one takes money out of your account. So it doesn't work like that. Um, you are wholly and solely under control of what you purchase and how much money you spend. So, all right. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that crafting session. 10 cards in an hour. Mm, not bad. Maybe 10 cards in 45 minutes because I reckon I've probably chatted for 15. Oh, uh, yeah, about 15 minutes. So maybe I did it in 45 minutes. Maybe I could get quicker at it and try and do 10 cards in half an hour. But never mind. We'll see how we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. Please share the video. Please comment. I'm happy to go back through the comments and check out everything. And as I said, if I haven't said hello to you in my live video, it is nothing personal. Sometimes I just don't see people's comments. So I hope I don't offend anybody by not chatting with them. And I hope they don't think that I'm ignoring them because I'm not. So thank you, everybody. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, did you get your prize? Did you get it? Did it come in the post? Have you got it already? Please tell me you got it because I said to your mother I sent it last week. So I was hoping that you got it already. Um, so thank you, everybody. And until next time, have a lovely time. Bye.